So the perfect storm is brewing on the greatest island that you've never heard about. 90 minutes away from Miami, two hours from Texas, the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere. Incredible jungles, Mayan ruins, a rich, diverse culture, and a safe English-speaking nation. So no wonder everyday people are seeing their investments go from 5,000 to 40,000 in the last 10 years. And I had to find out what was happening because back home, people like my family are being priced out of the American dream. I'm all about having fun, as you can see, by Passport Heavy, but I can't forget about legacy and generational wealth. So growing up, everything was about survival for me. The first nine years of my life, I was in foster care, but luckily I had some amazing foster parents. And then in 95, I moved with my mom and my brother to Chicago, um, but she wasn't able to really have a stable situation. So we lived with family members for years before we got our own one bedroom apartment. So she made 22,000 a year, you know, with two kids in Chicago. And so her only thoughts were, you know, keeping up with the rent and keeping us safe. So owning a home in America was far-fetched, let alone an investment property overseas. See, I didn't know anyone to put me on game. I had to learn everything through experience, reading, and doing. And I learned where you start in life is not where you have to end up because you can become more. My mom sacrificed way too much for me not to give it my all. And I would love to teach my future kids about the things my mom didn't know, international real estate, and pass something special on to them. Timing is everything in life. So I've made millions in business because I understand cycles. I've built companies from scratch with raising zero funds, but scaling them with digital ads and systems to literally eight figures annually. So my first time going to Bali eight years ago, I went to this area called Changu. They literally had two ATMs, zero beach clubs, land was so cheap, restaurants were nothing like they are now, like you see on Instagram. The villa game was so different, but they had all of the elements, you know, the people, the vibe, nature. You can still make money there, but it's just harder because you're not buying at the bottom of the market. But they have at least 100 ATMs now. They have so many beach clubs. Literally, they have the biggest beach club in Asia. So local economies have grown. And I talk to locals, right, in tourism. A lot of times they tell me their income has grown by three, four X. But for every positive, there's a negative, right? Now, traffic is crazy. And so not everything is good for the environment. And this has all happened in the last eight years. But one good thing about Belize, they have a lot of laws about protecting nature with the jungle and the reef and the wildlife. They're all about sustainability. Because I can see the same thing happening here, but when you see every influencer on IG posting about this place, it's too late. So I needed to find the best real estate expert I could find to learn the game. So I don't know if I've been more excited for a real estate video ever. So we started this trip off as a five day trip. 20 days later, it was still down here in Belize and it has me feeling like early days of Bali. And the big thing about that was I didn't buy early in the real estate there. And so when I'm being here, I'm like, yo, I am not gonna miss the boat. Sounds like a sales pitch, but really like, this is what I'm feeling in my soul. And I said, let me go connect with the top agent in the country, not even just agent, the owner of Regional Remax. They've got 13 offices, 90 of the best agents in the country. And I said, yo, you might know a thing or two about the market here, like, and the opportunities are here. But like, why Belize? I didn't even really know anything about this place. I didn't know where it was geographically located. What is it about Belize that makes it so special um, for real estate? Number one, everyone needs a Jabril in their life as a hype man, so thank you, Jabril. Belize has so many things, and you know, we've gone over them this week, but really the high level stuff is it's English speaking. So it's right beside the US, direct flights from just about every major city in the US. Uh, the natural beauty of Belize, you have 181 approximately long 
Mile Reef where you have these beautiful sea turtles and fish and manatees and all this amazing stuff. You have full foreign ownership in the market. I know I saw the Bali video where it's leasehold type of real estate out here. You can have your name, you can have your company's name on the title, uh, low property taxes, low taxes in general, and very pro foreign investment and pro business. So that's kind of the stuff that I want to tell you about and explain why Belize is the number one opportunity in real estate right now. Nice. Let's get it. And I can tell you why. It's a lot of fun down here. <laughs> Well, let me, let me not tell you too much. So I want to show you around more turnkey options with great prices. Then I want to show you what I'm investing in with a long-term vision. So land from 40K to homes that are a few hundred grand to multi-million dollar estates. So one of the things I'm really trying to figure out is to get like a high level view of buying a home for just me and my family, no one stays here, or if I'm getting it for like an investment property. Yeah, I mean, if you're buying a home just for your family, then really you're gonna build what you want or do what you want. Because when you're in a place like Mahogany Bay, you're building for yourself, right? If you're looking from an investment standpoint, then you really wanna do a purpose built rental. You wanna build around what the market needs. And right now you can do a simple Airbnb search. And I know you did this because you told me this morning, I checked online and you'll find that there are no, like almost no, uh, higher bedroom homes in the rental market right now. So for like this, for example, this area here could be used as a room. We're in a two bed, two bath home. But if I'm an investor, I'm modifying this to be the additional room for sure. So talking about communities, right? When, I'm in, when I go to Mexico, um, a lot of times I stay in Playa Club because I love the gated community feel. I just feel a little bit safer. Yeah. So what makes this unique here? So, I mean, it's very similar to what you would find there. Like when you come into a Mahogany Bay, for example, you have tons of restaurants, just like a Playa Carwood. You have a ton of different options, like the martini bar, you have pool clubs, all this stuff right here, but you're also right beside town. So you can exit, we can go out, we can hit some of the clubs, we can get some different food and then come right back in. Then you have the canal front lots, which is the big difference here. So every lot here is canal front. You can exit out to the ocean in a matter of minutes. So me, I'm a numbers guy. I wanna know, so like, how much does the house build cost? And then if I put it on Airbnb, like how quickly could I actually pay off my investment off of like numbers that you guys actually have and see? So this is a more upscale luxury home. Typically to build this right now would be about 400,000. Okay. So you'd also have your land, which is about 185. And a similar house to this house grossed 90,000 this year. So you're looking at about a six year, five, six year uh, payoff time frame for that. Typically what I'd recommend is trust but verify, right? Like yeah. do what Jabril did, go check online, go to Airbnb, look at the numbers and see the market there and you'll get a really good idea of exactly what it would be. One of the top reasons people build their homes from scratch is because there's a 20% premium. So for example, instead of paying 500,000, you'd be paying 400,000. And another reason is you get to build it exactly how you want. So the typical people coming down here, usually they come from cities with direct flights just because it's easy to get here. So it'd be Houston, Atlanta, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, New York, LA, Seattle, Toronto, and more being added every day. I'm sure I missed a couple there, but typically that's the type of traveler. Usually in the, I guess historically, it's been more of kind of like family vacationers, uh, divers, people that want to fish. And now as the, the amenities on the island, the nightlife scene, all of that's expanding. We're seeing a whole wide you know, array of type of people that are coming, but the locations are those direct locations. So usually when you bring up taxes, it's like people's least favorite thing to talk about. <laughs> when you step into Belize, it's their favorite thing to talk about. Okay. Because when you're looking at property taxes in Belize, it's one to 1.5% but of the undeveloped land. Okay. So for example, on a place like this, this beautiful two bed, two and a half bath with a pool, you're looking at $150 a year. A year? A year. So every year paid once per year in April. So you're talking about like 12, 1250 a month. It's ridiculous. <laughs> every, literally every day, Jabril, we're on the phone and we tell people about property tax, the same reaction we get is complete shock. The other ones you'd be looking at is your insurance. So for example, on a house like this, you're looking at about $3,000 per year. Okay. Uh, everything is underwritten by different providers in the US. So basically, yeah, you're looking at about a few grand a year 
very low carrying costs and super low property taxes. Right now, people looking on Airbnb, 72% of those people are looking for a pool. Okay. So when we're talking about if you have the pool and your neighbor doesn't have the pool, you're gonna get those bookings, you know, approximately 72% of the people are looking. So it's huge. We're numbers guys, right? Yeah. Like we wanna look at the data and see where is the data backing up the location? So just to kind of touch on what you, you know, the different areas. So you do have San Ignacio, which is in the jungle, more kind of low key vibes, very beautiful, but the tourism market really isn't quite there yet. You have Placencia, which is one of the bigger markets in Belize, but again, it's super laid back, super chill. Uh, the population is really only like a few thousand to 10,000 people, so it's really small. And we're talking about like going up that peninsula. And when we're looking from a real estate investment perspective, we're looking where are the people going? Because when you look at real estate, there's a couple ways you can make money off of it. There's equity appreciation, you know, your property's going up in value or there's cash flow. So you're getting heads and beds, you're generating rental income. Both of those ways are driven by people going to a location. When we look at the data and we take the BTB's data, that's the Belize Tourism Board, they produce a couple reports every year and they break down, okay, where are people coming from? You know, where are they going to within Belize? And according to the data from the 2019 report, because the most recent reports are affected by COVID, about 42% of the travelers were going to Ambergris Key, which is the island we're on. So San Pedro is one town in Ambergris Key. Ambergris Key is the number one tourism destination. And you can even take it one step further and they have a report of all the available rental units in Ambergris Key. And when you break it down, you can see they have, they have about 2,600 rental units in the biggest tourism market in Belize versus when you contrast to a location like Cancun or Tulum where they have hundreds of thousands of rooms, our inventory growth hasn't been there while the tourism numbers have still hit. And then you factor in island economics, so you're not making any more land. And when you really break that down, if it's a financial investment, you gotta be an Ambergris Key. You gotta be looking at San Pedro and Ambergris Key. So we still have a mega estate where the land alone is three milli. Oceanfront with a private deck coming. But what I'm most excited about is the most popular tourist destination in San Pedro. You can't be on the island without someone saying to you, have you been to Secret Beach yet? Jabril, welcome to the Secret Beach area. We're on the west side of Ambergris Key, really the future of the island, bro. That's what I've been hearing because every hotel I checked in, they're like, you gotta go to Secret Beach. And then I talked exactly. to more people and they were like, yo, the last 10 years ago, we're going for five grand. Now they're getting closer to the 40. I'm like, what am I missing? Let me go see this place. Exactly, man. You know, it's really important to understand what's going on on the island. So when you look at a Google map here, right? you see the east side is pretty much completely developed up. Yeah. But then you zoom out to the west side on the other side from, of the island from San Pedro and you see nothing but opportunity. Nothing but pretty much raw land that's being developed as we speak. Oh, snap. We're standing on the roads and right now we're standing half a mile away from Secret Beach, which you know, it's really become the top tourism destination when it comes to a beach in the country. So this is really a, that rare opportunity to be ahead of the curve, not miss the boat like you probably did in Hawaii or you know in any other tropical destination that you look at mm -hmm. where prices have gone crazy. And plus, you get the sunset, baby. Sunsets, baby, the west side. One of the things that inspired me most is when I look at the waters in the Bahamas on Google Earth, I was like, wow, that is incredible. And now on this side of the hemisphere, there's only one other region and that's actually in Belize. And there's no wonder why the Four Seasons and so many other places are building here. The key factor is when you look at the standard price for a fully serviced lot in town, and when you look at the way the town's been developed, it was a sleepy fishing village. The east side's all developed out. The west side was left untouched. 
You have the value of being in an area where the road infrastructure is already in place. It's poised to be the next town. You have property taxes of $75 per year again. You have no additional carrying costs unless you're developing and you have insurance and stuff like that, but there's no HOA. And when you're building, you're fully in control. So as long as you adhere to the building authority's guidelines, five foot setback from the sides of the lot, 10 from the front and back, no structures above three stories unless you have more than an acre, you do whatever you want, really. You don't have to build, you get a fee simple title. So it really is the ultimate ownership. You really do whatever you want. I had a guy on uh, Instagram DM me, he saw us in Belize, and he was like, yo, I'm building these tree houses. I've, I've got them already in Atlanta. Like, we got a partner, we got to do something. And then I realized he's actually one of your clients. That's true. Quick shout out to Daryl and the fam. Daryl, we're so excited for your project, but he's got this amazing, it's Tulum vibe, nice, beautiful pool. So these are the type of projects that are coming in here right now. And as these come in, you know, you said it best before, I'll let you use your, you know, what you told me about Instagram, but as these projects are coming in, you're really gonna see a shift in the mentality of owners and you're gonna see a shift in values as things continue to progress. When you can build places before the gram is popping in an area, you'd be like, I remember when I bought this back at 40,000 a lot, now it's 500 grand, you know, 20 years from now, right? Location and ocean, you have the barrier reef. It has the element, all the elements Everything for success. Is it's protected, no crazy hurricanes. And I'm like, yo, the only reason why I haven't invested here yet is I didn't know about this place. Secret Beach in five years will be unrecognizable as a place it is today. So I mean, buying land and just sitting on it makes sense or building something out right now because there's such a huge demand. So Will, what does it actually take to get a lot in Secret Beach? In this market, and a lot of people think that because 95% of our buyers and clients come from the US or Canada, especially places like New York, LA, Toronto, where they really can't access the real estate market right now. So to keep it really simple, the entry point in Belize, and this is why so many people love it, it's $40,000 for an entry lot in the Secret Beach area. There's 20% down financing. We talked about this when we were walking around, but property taxes are 75 bucks a year. So from carrying cost perspective, from entering the market, we're still on the ground floor with so much potential to go up. And the opportunity is really within anyone's fingertips if they want to look forward and you know dive in and learn more about it. So let's switch it up and see what it looks like when the land alone costs three million. So just hopped off the boat, about to view the most expensive estate in Belize, private dock, oceanfront. This is the best part of the house right here in my opinions. You have the pool right on the ocean with the hot tub behind it. You've got an ice bath, sauna, outdoor kitchen. We have Chef Patrick, one of the best chefs in Belize, cooking up salmon salad, ceviche, uh, dessert, all this amazing stuff. But when you're popping a bottle of champagne, this is the location you wanted to be in. That's it. I mean, we've had a chance to explore property from top to bottom across the country and to find an outdoor luxury amenity experience like this, we're grilling, we're watching the game, we're popping a bottle. We might have to pop another one. This is as good as it gets. All right, guys, so we know that health is wealth. Right now, we're talking about the barrel sauna. We've got the professional certified recovery ice bath. We've got the pool. We've got the hot tub and we've got the ocean. So you talk about that full luxury experience living beachfront, this is it. So now let's see what a fully finished home in a nice area gets you for 1.5 million. The 
big benefit of looking at something standalone like this is the proximity to town, the ability to get this close to the reef. Like when we're up here right now and you look around this 360 degree view, the reef is crazy. So having that proximity, being able to do exactly what you want, which in Mahogany Bay, you can still customize a lot of stuff, but in here, like you could go absolutely nuts, right? So the house is five bedroom, five bath, additional caretaker suite, which could just be another room in the house. So six bed, six bath total. And the best part about it is this deck. Just say, what'd you say? I said that. We are, we've already bought here. I've already bought here. I bought down at Secret Beach. I bought down at Punta Azul South. I have a girlfriend on the phone right now who's that, also that a nurse was, purchasing land. My girlfriend, who's also a nurse today, she just bought a property in Secret Beach that she just went into escrow for. I have family in the townhouse who's yeah, trying to so figure out um, how to get money down here so to, they can uh, purchase to before we leave too, so. so. You said you already felt like you know me, how? How do I know you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Mr. Bali Man, Mr. Changu, Mr. Jim Baron. <laughs> we are staying in Changu, Ruba, and Jim Baron because of you. Next year, we've been trying to get there since the pandemic, and we can finally go, you know, next year. So that's how I know you. All over. I follow you. I know who you are. Wow, it's such a. Like we just finished, I don't know if they're telling you, we're shooting in the video right now, uh, why people should come down to Belize. That's actually, what was it for you? That would be I mean, the I'm, most, I'm but, why, 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 okay. why Belize for you? So first, let me, let me start with this. When I saw that you were telling people to come down here, I was like, oh no, they don't buy up all the lots. I still need to get more lots. No, don't tell anybody. This is my secret. No, but I wanted to buy down here because I've been looking down here for the past seven years. And I was looking at it and I was scared. You know, I was like, the lots are 10,000, 10, 15,000. That doesn't sound right. Like, is it a scam? Like, what's going on? So, um, five years ago, I was looking at them again. They started going up again. I just would not press the button because of fear. You know, I didn't know that you can just purchase things in another country and it would just be smooth sailing. So when the pandemic hit and then we had, you know, a president in office and, you know, we're unsure of things, I, I knew that I had to have a place that I can bring my family that was safe if anything went down, that that had um, groceries, that, had, that grew their own produce, that had their own livestock, that could fish, you know, someplace that was sustainable or I didn't have to worry about my family. So I told all my family, look, I'm buying property in Belize. Um, we couldn't get down here when I purchased because the, the world was shut down, but I bought it on faith and it's been the best thing I've ever done. Congratulations Thank on your appreciation, you. for real. Yo, I'm not often proud of myself, but you're looking at my first international purchase of land here in Mahogany Bay. So got the ones over in Secret Beach, those are dope, and that's the future of hamburger SPs. Those were 65K a piece. And then out here, this is the number one gated community in the country. So you're gonna see a lot of the leaders, people, basically the who is who, this is where they're gonna live. And I just, yeah, I'm so proud to be a part of the community. Beach clubs like Casa Banana, um, so many different restaurants, Toshis, you got the Hilton, so many things popping up, and I was like, hey, I know it's never gonna be priced lower, so not the cheapest thing. Start at like literally I think of 180K for the cheapest in the community. And I got one of the most premium lots because I wanted the sunset, the water, and you know, you know how powerful and heavy you do. But yeah, I am I'm proud of me right now. And hey, hope to see you in the community. So after spending 34 days in Belize, we figured out how to enjoy this country to the fullest. So we put together one of the most comprehensive guides the country has ever seen. We put a link in the description for you to have the best possible trip for your budget. Belize is gonna be part of my real estate portfolio. And stay tuned for future videos to see what I do with my secret beach lots. So hopefully this video has helped put you on game when it comes to Belize real estate. Make sure you flood our comments with questions and also go follow Will and his team on YouTube because they dive deep in the details. Literally, their whole YouTube channel is about Belize, not just the real estate, but knowing everything that you want to know about the country. Belize is truly the hidden gem of Central America. 
but I know it won't always be that way. And if you want to see a full 40 minute sit down with Will, I've put a link in the description, pretty much no editing, just a full sit down for a deep dive on real estate. But anyways, I'm out of here. Hope you've enjoyed.